I have never been so scared in my life. Like, I almost went to jail in Ghana. Can you put the time on a rewind? Help me understand, can you tell me now? Why you made a war that we're fighting now? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And as you can tell from the title of this video, this is gonna be a story time about my experience in Ghana and how I almost got arrested and ultimately got extorted. So this is day two of me being in Ghana. My friend and I went to Ghana for my birthday and we brought a bunch of cash with us because of course you don't wanna go anywhere without cash. We didn't have time to convert any of our US dollars. For reference, I had about 500, either 400 or 500 US dollars on me at the time. Day two, we are going to one of the most like popular touristy beach clubs in Accra, which is the city that I was in. It's called Sandbox Beach Club. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I went there on my birthday and I did get to experience it. But this day specifically, we were taking an Uber to Sandbox Beach Club. This is how it all started. We're in the Uber and we're driving down the street and we're almost at Sandbox, like literally two blocks away from Sandbox. And we see the police on the side of the street and the Uber proceeds to slow down and just pull over. The Uber driver rolled his window down and the police were talking to us through the window, basically stating how this was a random search and they're looking for any drugs, weapons, things of that nature. I don't know if that's normal. If you're from Ghana or Ghanaian, let me know in the comments, like, is this a normal thing that they do? Because honestly, to me, it just seemed like a tourist trap. He tells us to step out of the vehicle. I didn't want him to search my bag because I just knew once he saw all of that cash, the wheels were gonna get turning in his head. Like he was gonna try to find some way to get this money up off me. And the same goes for my friend. So we get out the car, he looks through our bag, and I actually have like a tote bag like this. He goes through my tote bag and he sees my camera, my vlogging camera, and he's like, what's this? And I'm like, a camera, like obviously, you know? And then he pulls out my passport and he's like, open your passport. So I open my passport and he like flips through it and sees that I'm American. There's like a side pocket in my bag. He unzips the bag and sees all of my cash. I had all of my cash in there. Again, it was about 400 or 500 US dollars. At this point, I'm starting to feel like this was a setup because he did not search the Uber driver. He did not search the vehicle. He only searched me and my friend. And then he brings over another police officer to search my friend. And that was also weird. He's a guy, so they searched him twice, patted him down. And of course we don't have anything, so he had no choice but to let us go. First of all, if we're American, we had to get through 30 checkpoints to come in this country. Like, where in that process would they have missed a gun? Like, I'm just trying to figure out. Anyway, we get to Sandbox, we realize that there's a dress code, and we have to take an Uber back to our hotel to go change. But of course, we have to pass the same police that we just passed to get through Sandbox. We passed the police, I'm vlogging, I have the camera up and I'm just like talking to the camera and me being the vlogger that I am, I'm filming like the street, I'm talking to the camera. As we're in the Uber, I'm just updating them and you'll see once I drop the part two of my vlog in Ghana, I'm like, hey, like we're going back to our hotel, we have to change, da 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 da. And next thing I know, the police are like screaming like, hey, 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 stop the car, stop the car. The Uber stops the car. Police comes over to my window and he tells me to get out the car. He tells me that it's illegal to record a police officer. So I, w I was not recording him specifically. I am recording myself and the surrounding areas, vlogging like I normally do. And he tells me that that's illegal to record a police officer. So he's like, hand me the camera. So I hand him the camera. Y'all, this man is like, takes my camera and is like holding it behind his back. Sir, this is an $800 camera. You better give my camera back. I don't know if this is a real rule. I've asked several people. I've asked hotel staff. I've asked restaurant staff. I've asked locals and I've asked friends that I have that are West African. There is no rule about recording. He's proceeding to tell me how I don't know the rules and how I don't, I can't come into someone's country and not know the rules. And I'm in my head like, sir, 
I'm a tourist. Do you think they gave me the Ghanaian rule book on the flight here? Like common sense, I know the obvious rules. I didn't know it was an issue to film in a public area. So he's continuously like telling me how this is illegal. And then he tells me, and I have to take you to the police station and you need to get in the car with me. So at this point, I'm like, I'm not getting in the car with you because I don't see a badge. I don't even know if you're a real police officer. Yes, he had on a uniform, but I didn't see any police labeled cars. I didn't see any police labeled bikes. I didn't see any insurance that this was a real police officer and I'm not getting in the car with you. So I told him I can have my Uber follow you to the police station, but I'm not getting in the car with you. And he's like, no, you need to get in the car with me. We're taking you to the police station. So I get my friend out of the car because I'm like, hold up, this is going too far. Like I'm, you're about to arrest me. Like I'm still trying to fathom what's going on. Like you're about to arrest me because I was recording something in a public area. So I get my friend out the car and he gets out the car and he's like, you're not taking her anywhere. Like what's the problem? And the police basically explains, you can't record. My friend is telling him, we're not from here. We didn't know, we can delete it. I'm not trying to cause any trouble. I'm really not, like I'm here on a birthday trip. I'm just trying to enjoy myself. I can delete the video, but he's like, no, you can't delete it because this could have been lively broadcasted and there's a recently deleted. This is not an iPhone, babe. This is literally a Sony camera. There's no live streaming and there's no recently deleted. There's a SIM card and once you delete out the SIM card, it's gone. I'm apologizing over and over and over and he's telling me no, no, no. And then he tells me, and when you get to the police station, they're gonna fine you $5,000. Y'all, my mouth dropped. At this point, I am like in tears because he is so serious about this. Like he's telling me that they're gonna take me to the police station. They're gonna detain me. I'm gonna have to stay there overnight. I'm like having a panic attack. Everything was flashing right before my eyes. The police basically say, well, what do you wanna do? What do you mean what I wanna do? I want my camera back and I wanna go on about my day. He's like, well, what are you gonna do for us? Because you know, if I take you to the police station, they're gonna charge you $5,000. So what are you gonna do for us? And so my friend is like, how much money you want, bro? That's what you want? They could have just said that. Like, at this point, we're annoyed. Like you caused this whole fiasco in the middle of the street. The Uber driver is sitting there just looking at us. And I'm sitting here in tears because this man is telling me I'm gonna get detained. He's like, well, how much? How much do you think I should get? I don't think you should get anything. I don't think you should get anything except that police outfit that you have on removed up off you because that is so morally wrong. Like you're literally extorting someone that came to your country to spend money. I could have went to Europe. I could have went to Asia. I could have went anywhere, but I wanted to come to Ghana. I wanted to be in Africa. Back to the story. He's like, well, how much, how much can you give us? So I didn't talk. My friend is talking at this point and my friend is like $20. And he's like, $20, what is that gonna buy me? What, what is that gonna buy me? And 20 US dollars will buy you breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a freaking dessert. Like, let's not even play. My friend was like, okay, 40. You know how the African people do the thing with their teeth. Like, he's doing that. And he's like, no, no, that's not enough. So I jump in and I'm like, how much you want? Cause clearly you have a price already in mind. How much do you want? I'm getting irritated. I don't like to play this game. So he's like, a hundred, a hundred dollars. A hundred US dollars in Ghana? Do you know how much that can get you? Like that man probably went on a vacation for the weekend with my $100 and took his family. Like 100 US dollars in Ghana is a lot. Then he tried to say for each of us because it was two police officers. He said 100 US dollars each. My friend was like, no, you're only gonna get $100 total. I gave him the 100 US dollars and I pulled it out of my bag and I have it like this. He's like, no, hand it down. Like don't hand it up. So he wants me to like, hand it to him like this, you know? So I hand him the hundred dollars, he gives me my camera back, and he's like, I need you to show me that you're gonna delete the video. So I delete it off the camera, I show him that it's gone, and we go on about our day. I didn't know what to do in this situation because I've never experienced this, but knowing what I know now, I honestly would have asked to see some type of identification that he was a legit police officer. After that, we got back in our Uber. He's finding this humorous, and that's how I just knew like this was all a setup, and this is something that the police do to just get money from tourists. When I got back to the hotel, we did ask like a few of the hotel staff, like, hey, is it illegal to record 
is it illegal to record an area if the police are there they all said no we didn't even want to leave our hotel because we were just so shooken up at the fact that this happened and i thank god that it went down like this because even if they were real police and he did take me to that police station, $5,000 would have been a different story. If you are a content creator, if you are a vlogger, a YouTuber, be careful when you are filming in other countries. What I've learned from this situation, before I film an area, I will kind of like introduce myself and just let them know what I'll be doing and ask if that's okay. Another thing that I've learned is to find out where the US Embassy is in the country that you're going and have the number in your phone. That being said, um, we did try to kind of forget about that after like a day or two and enjoy my birthday and enjoy Ghana and all that we learned and got to experience there. Will I return to Ghana? Part two of my Ghana vlog will be dropping really soon, so make sure you hit the bell to be notified for any of my new videos and that you're subscribed to my channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.